I'm at the first ever Twitter conference. It's called Chirp, and I'm with Twitter's co-founder, Biz Stone, right now. Biz. Now, today was a day of a lot of announcements for you guys. Yeah. Name a few of the big ones. Oh, man. Do I have to remember them all ads? already? Oh. Yeah, we, we launched, we launched uh, Sponsored Tweets. Uh, which is a, which is a, a revenue and monetization engine for us going forward. We uh, we also launched um, this conference. Never done, never had a, a developer conference before, and we launched um, also a, a new partnership, uh, which is very exciting with the Library of Congress and also uh, a Google. Um, well, we already had a partnership with Google, but Google came up with a very interesting new product based around tweets as well. Where you can actually search the tweets and it, everything remains out there. Once it's up there, there's no way. Of yeah, we we all we save all the tweets anyways. I mean, every tweet that gets created <laughs> is, is saved. Um, uh, but the the new product that Google launched is called Google Replay, and it's very interesting because what you'll be able to do is go back in time to any moment in time, say Obama's uh, the day Obama was inaugurated, and 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 you'll be able to um, see all of the tweets that were happening at that particular time and what people were saying about it. So you can imagine going forward into the future. And how interesting that would be to sort of be able to replay that public sentiment um, that was going on at the time in the past. So now Google doesn't see you guys as a competition, more as like a partner? They are, we are officially partnered with Google, yeah. <laughs> Which it has created new headway for you guys. Yeah, we, I mean, we're partnered with Google, Microsoft, and Yahoo. So, I mean, we, I mean we're very, our whole philosophy is openness. We believe very firmly in the open exchange of information can have a positive impact on the world. And... And since we believe that firmly, then we really don't have a problem giving a lot of and this data away. And that's good that they see that as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Google and, and these other guys, they know there's value inside all of these tweets. And, and, and we want that value to be unlocked. So by giving it to them, some of the world's best search engines, they're going um, to they're gonna provide that value to users ultimately. Right. Library of Congress. Because yeah. everyone was talking about that today. What does it actually mean that all the tweets will be um, taken, taken by the Library of Congress. What is that all? It just means that there's an archive of tweets, um, uh, just like uh, Google indexes tweets, um, except that uh, for the Library of Congress, it's just a research-only kind of uh, arrangement. So not LOLs or OMGs? or. Well, they're all in there. Everything's in there. <laughs> um, instead of, yeah, instead of LOCs. The, the LOLs and the LOC. No, it's um, it's every tweet, um, you know, uh, from the beginning of Twitter uh, to, and, and, until forever. Uh, and, um, you know, not every tweet is going to win a Nobel Prize, but... Uh, I think uh, I think this is this. There's a lot of foresight uh, here with the Library of Congress because um, they're betting that uh, the tweets are representing you know public sentiment um, every minute of every day of every week of every month of every year going forward, and to be able to do the research about okay, what were people thinking and talking about back when this happened or that happened, and I think that's very interesting from a research standpoint. And now the ads, this is another uh, part the of your feature. Tweets, the right. promoted tweets. Yes. What is that, how will that change the user's experience? Well, how that changes the user experience is that the users, when, uh, when uh, organizations and companies start uh, running promoted tweets, users will see one tweet at the very top of the other tweets that has uh, is clearly labeled a promoted tweet, okay. and we're we're doing something. Uh, we've invent, sort of invented something new uh, called resonance, and the idea of resonance is that we take into consideration many different ways that people interact with tweets. They retweet them, they at reply them, they do a whole bunch of things uh, to tweets. And if people interact with a tweet enough, we'll, we'll determine that that tweet has high resonance, which means that tweet is interesting to a lot of users. So, so if a promoted tweet yeah. isn't interesting or doesn't resonate with users, it disappears. So for Only instance, the tweets that are good will, will remain promoted tweets. Give, give people an example of a brand that that would happen. So, for example, you know, Starbucks has, uh, uh, you know, maybe puts out, puts out two, t they promote two tweets. And one of the tweets is like this really funny uh, announcement about, um, on April Fool's Day, about how 
uh, you know, um, they're they're launching the micra and the and the plenta or whatever. Yeah, they had this yeah, funny yeah. thing, right? And uh, and people like let's say people love that too. They think it's hilarious. So they retweet it. They click on the link to go look at the website. They click on the avatar of it to see. And they do all these things to it, and that tweet has a high resonance. Let's say at the same time they've also promoted a tweet that is just kind of a dud. <laughs> you know, like, hey, Starbucks is great. Uh, nobody cares. And so what happens is that tweet uh, very quickly will be determined to have low resonance and will disappear and users won't have to see it anymore. So it d democratizes it in it a It kind way. of opens it up and democratizes it so that um, only those tweets that resonate very highly with users are uh, prom uh, remain promoted tweets. And you also announced today a big number in terms of, like, exactly how many people are using the site. Well, I didn't actually or announce annou it. Or if you actually watched carefully, I never said I thought <laughs> anything. But there was information behind me on the slides that I prepared. And, and the numbers were? Those are some big numbers that were back there, I heard. No, we, we, <laughs> we showed a slide yes, yes. Um, that there were over 100 million registered accounts on Twitter and uh, m uh, more than 300,000 people every day join Twitter and a whole bunch of others. other numbers that people have been asking us for years. We just kind of, every number we could think of, we, we, we laid it out today. But, and why today? It was just like, was this a strategy? Uh, it's just fun. You know, we've never had a conference before, and we just we were trying to think, like, what, what would be fun to share with people, you know? And, um, and uh, truth be told, you know, there's more people. There's, we have 180 uh, uh, unique visitors per month to Twitter, and 180 million unique visitors per month to Twitter. That's way more people using Twitter than act, that are actually registered. So we have a, an interesting situation with Twitter where it's it's more consumption based at this point. Our COO Dick Costello actually made a, a funny point where he said, you know, uh, people never ask. Um, people say, uh, I'm going to botch it, but he said something along the lines of, you know, hundreds of millions of people watch TV, but only 0.0001% of people actually produce TV shows. Interesting. Um, so there's a, there's a lot more people actually um, using Twitter as a as a consumption tool, something to get information, than they are actually tweeting. Yeah, they're, they're observing, they're not creating. Right, and that's fine, that's great. I mean, it's an information network, and people are going to it to find out what's happening right now all over the world every minute of every day. That's great. I'm glad they can, they, they, that's a great service. It's already blown up so much, although people are saying it's in its infancy. What would it take yeah. to sell Twitter? I mean, you guys are not going to sell this. No, anymore. Twitter's not for sale. I mean, we, we, we love Twitter. We're just getting started. You know, we kind of, we've proven that this, this, that Twitter is, you know, globally relevant. A lot of people around the world use it, love it, use it for work, use it for play, uh, find a lot of uh, usefulness in it. That, we, we've proven, we still have a lot of growing to do there, but we've kind of secured that. Next thing we got to do is prove that we can build a business on top of this, mm -hmm. and that's what we really want to do, and that's and we're committed to doing that ourselves. So five years from now, Twitter, describe Twitter as you um, see it. Five years from now, uh, Twitter hopefully uh, will grow the network, you know, uh, much, much bigger. It's, uh, it's available everywhere you can possibly imagine on all mobile devices, uh, uh, everywhere through SMS. There's four billion mobile phones in the world. All of them are Twitter-ready devices because they all have SMS. Uh, and, you know, obviously very pro hopefully very profitable uh, and, and sort of very much succeeding from that standpoint. And just finally, last question. What do you tell people who don't get why they need to use Twitter? I usually tell people who don't get why they need to use Twitter to go ahead and just search for something on Twitter, either the name of their company, the name of a product they care about, anything like that. And they're usually shocked to see uh, what people are saying about their company or this yeah. product or et cetera. And then they're like, wait a minute, how do we get involved in that conversation? And that, that's usually where I start. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Much appreciated. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right. <laughs>